back to the vlog channel. I am starting this vlog on a Sunday actually, and I'm starting it telling you guys that I look a little crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, my face is super puffy. Um, at work yesterday, I got some Botox, which is completely normal. Like, But I also got this product called Sculptra, which essentially is gonna help me build my own collagen levels over the next couple of months and I'm very puffy from it. So it is like a form of dermal filler, but it's not like it's not like getting Juvederm filler to like puff up your cheeks or something like that. It like simulates your body to do its own thing, but the needles are quite big. So I look kind of crazy. My husband says that I look normal. I'm like, "No, I freaking don't. Like I look like I got my wisdom teeth out. This side is better than the swelling." on this side like I don't even recognize myself when I look in the mirror but anyway today is Sunday I wanted to do a little like Sunday reset um, kind of home vlog there are have been some updates to our house that I wanted to kind of like take you guys around through and just kind of show you how I go about my Sunday afternoons my Sunday the whole day not just the afternoon but everything that I do just to kind of like reset for the week today is actually my only day off I worked Tuesday through Saturday I'm off today and then I go back tomorrow. So I've been enjoying all my time at home, but um, currently just wearing this set from Set Active, some Birkin socks and some Set Active white socks as well. I just did a load of laundry and folded it and now I'm gonna sit down and finish editing my vlog for YouTube and then we'll kind of get into the fun things. Every Sunday I sit down and edit my vlogs. I wish I edited them every Friday, but as you guys know, I don't really have Fridays off anymore, so I edit in Final Cut Pro, which I just got. I promised myself that when I actually started making money on YouTube, I would put it towards um, purchasing CapCut Pro, CapCut, <laughs> Final Cut Pro. So I did that, I uploaded this, and now it's uploading to um, YouTube, so I need to go and make my thumbnail. I make all my thumbnails on Canva Pro, and I have like a template that is already there that I use. I can't believe I'm even vlogging because I feel like I look so crazy from far away. It's probably better. So I'm going to keep you guys <laughs> at a distance. But I've been ice rolling my face up at least five times a day because you're supposed to massage your face five times a day for five days to like help the product. And it hurts to like massage it without ice. It's very sore. So I'm doing that. But anyway, it has been a very eventful weekend yesterday. I worked in aesthetics and then I went to see It Ends With Us with my friend McKenna and we got dinner and then came home and Seth and I started The Perfect Couple. I read that book a couple of months ago. I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I read that book and so far we're on episode three and I have to say, I was a little disappointed. I don't even remember there being a little brother in the book. I don't think there was. And like all of the changes that they've made, I don't feel like all of them were appropriate. Like tag smoking all the time. Like I, I don't want to say on YouTube, but I don't remember that being a thing. And like, I don't like how there's not like flashbacks or there hasn't been yet flashbacks like there were in the book. Like in the book, the main event happened and then you just went back in time and then you would go back to the main event and go back in time. There's been so much time spent at the main event that I don't like it so far. Um, and I think they could have cast Benji and Shooter better, if I'm being honest. I don't, I didn't like their castings for them, but it's something to watch, so I really can't complain. Anyway, I'm going to take you guys through a few house changes that we have. We went to Home Goods today, and then I also want to run to Target with you guys to get a few other things and show you guys some of the up decor changes that we have made and i don't know i'm really into like home stuff right now i think just because like we're getting into the fall season i really just want to be at home i don't want to be like out and about on the town i really just like want to be in my house i want it to be super cozy so i've been working a lot on our house i actually ordered a new bed i'm really excited it's not going to come in until i think october so lots of time for that and then our contractors are going to do um, the flooring that we have that we got put in the kitchen and the living room, they're gonna extend that into our bedroom. I don't know exactly when that's gonna happen, but I'm excited for it and I kind of planned a lot of changes in the bedroom around that. So I will let I will show you guys the bed when it gets here, but it's not gonna be here for a while. And I got it from Casterly, 
which is where I also got our sofa from. I also would love to decorate for fall today if I get the time because it's already 3.37, so we'll see. But let me show you guys. So let's start here. I got this new mirror today from Home Goods. Actually, you guys saw it in a vlog that I went to Home Goods a couple of weeks ago and saw it, and I just thought it would fit this space much better than the, the gold mirror that I had. I also love, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but I love the detailing of this mirror, and I love the rounded top, and I think it goes really well with like the harsher lines in the house. This rug is also new. I think it goes really nicely in the space. Ignore like the laundry and stuff. This is just a real like lived in home. I got these two pumpkins from Crate and Barrel. I think they are so cute. I love them. I know that like the pumpkin pillow trend came out last year, but I'm bringing it into this year. And then yesterday I actually picked up this really pretty dresser from facebook marketplace we had the gold mirror in here the whole time with a little plant to the side of it which i moved to the living room but i have really grown out of my closet space i'll show you guys my closet just to be so transparent it is literally a mess half of my clothes are over here because they can't fit so <laughs> i needed a dresser I found this on Facebook Marketplace. I thought it was super cute. I love the color of it, but honestly, when we redo the flooring and get the new bed, I think I'm gonna want this to be darker, so I will probably paint it black, but I'm not gonna do it right now. And I think it's really good quality. I'm obviously gonna let Seth share this as well, but I think it looks better catty-cornered. We tried to put it like against the wall and don't get me wrong, it looked fine and we might put it back there, but I don't know. I love when things are catty-cornered. I just think it makes the space look nicer, but it does obviously take up the back space. You like lose a little bit of the wall. And then I transferred I, this mirror over here because I obviously need a mirror in my bedroom when I'm getting ready. I know I'm really backlit so you guys probably can't see me. This is not a, a mirror pick mirror um, because of the backlight, but I just needed a mirror in my bedroom. So did that. And then I just have a few more things I wanna show you guys before we head off to Target. This is probably the thing that I'm most excited about. So when I went to my brother-in-law's house in Tennessee a couple of weeks ago, he had the Breville that you kind of like do yourself. And I thought it was so good. The espresso was such high quality. Like it, it really tasted really good. And I have not been loving my Nespresso. I think that's why I stopped drinking coffee like six months ago because I it tasted bad in my Nespresso. And I descaled it and everything. So we found this for $600 on Facebook Marketplace, which if you know, you know, like this typically goes for at least $1,000. So I'm so glad that we found it. We used it today for the first time, which you guys saw some little b-roll of that and I love it. And then to spice up this area, I got this print from um, Etsy. I think it's so cute. I think it's gonna go really well. I love the color in it, but I need to get a frame. So that's something that we're gonna look for at Target. I'll show you guys just a little overview of the kitchen. Our contractor did come yesterday to finish up some um, paint touches and then I don't know when he's coming back to change my hardware because I think I told you guys this in a previous vlog. This was supposed to be gold hardware, not black hardware. And even though it's very like nice, if this was black, then I would say, okay, that's totally fine. Like everything black hardware, but I like that that's gold. So I want this to be gold hardware to match. So hopefully he's gonna do that soon and these are just like the little house updates i feel like it's so cozy in here i absolutely love it another load of laundry just finished it's crazy like when you're doing laundry how fast i feel like the laundry is done so let me fold this next load and then i think we'll run to target obviously i have pretty little liars on in the background you guys know i'm obsessed with pretty little, pretty little liars especially for the full time it's literally Perfect. Okay, let's go to Target. Honestly, I just threw on this hat because I can't even freaking look at myself. I don't know why this, like, I don't think I'll ever do this again because I can't look at myself. Like, I'm telling you guys, I literally can't look in the mirror because I'm like, what is wrong 
with my face and I know that it's not gonna stay like this you can already see like this side is pretty much back down to normal but like when you look at me from this side I look like a who from Whoville anyway the target people are not gonna care cozy Sunday rainstorm and I am feeling very anxious I don't know why I think in the last couple of days my anxiety has spiked a little bit and honestly I think that's because I'm not resting well I hope you guys can hear me <laughs> through the rainstorm but yeah I just think I've been like the logo for like you know I'm just like juggling a few things I'm learning new information and so I think that can be a little bit overwhelming for somebody so um, I'm using the aids that I have like my copa calm and I need to do like a little meditation practice today but just like putting that aside we scored the jackpot in Target like I'm so happy with the pieces I'm gonna show you guys and like put them together and then I think I just got a new little rug for the kitchen as well that will match the old kitchen i think that got delivered and yeah i'm just so excited like the house is just so cozy and it's gonna be so cozy like with the storm too Keep the fun. i'm gonna make a white bean chili for dinner tonight i this is a recipe i got from pinterest so i will link it down below for you guys and let you know how it turns out Give you something. What like, will give you? <gasps> it's a ball. <gasps> it's two balls. One for Stinky. Oh my goodness. Yummy. What a nice grandma. <laughs> <laughs> he said if you could just give me one, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good boy. <laughs> Dinner is ready. My great aunt from Denmark made these little placeholders. They're so cute. So I just have them out for the fall season. Okay, these are the things that I got from Target. I'm very excited. I feel like it's super cute, very much my vibe. I got a little alarm clock. I'm not going to use this as an alarm clock, but it's a great timekeeper. This is the lamp that I got it's from, I believe the brand is McGee & Co. And then I loved this candle. I don't know if I'm actually going to burn it, but I love like the amber color of it. And it has some texture to it that you probably, or not texture, it has like some movement to it. I actually think I'm going to go back and get a bigger um, picture frame because I think it would look like really good with like an oversized picture frame there. And then I'm gonna frame probably like a black and white photo of Seth and I um, from like our wedding and put it there. And then I got this pretty vase. I got these from Target and then I got this to put some of my jewelry that I wear frequently just in there. And I think that it's gonna look so cute. Just keep in mind that I'm gonna have a bigger picture frame and I think that will really complete the look. This is the current situation. It's like almost nine o'clock. I am organizing my new dresser. I'm just trying to figure out where I want everything to go. I think the most important thing to me is that like organized, but like also 
I guess just organized. I don't know. I need to share the space as well <laughs> because my husband needs to be able to use it. Guys, look at my face. How am I going to go to work like this tomorrow? Oh, like this side, I feel like looks almost decent. Like I still definitely have some swelling down here, but this side looks, I literally, I think I look like I got punched in the face. But anyway, we had dinner tonight. I made that white bean chili. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend it, so I'm not going to put the recipe down below. Like, I, the texture was kind of giving, like, uh, baby food. But anyway, it was still, like, a cozy night. Seth is currently at a soccer game right now. He's in a soccer league, so he's playing there tonight. And then I need to take a shower and go to bed because... To work tomorrow but anyway i'm just gonna finish this and i'll show you guys like what i get through also watching danielle carolyn's latest vlog while i do it all done i have filled up every single one of these drawers anyway now it is time to shower whoa it's almost 10 o'clock honestly my face is getting worse <laughs> i'm gonna walk into work tomorrow and they're gonna be like what happened but whatever you know Beauty is pain. I can like barely smile. Look at this. Oh my god. Anyway, I gotta shower and go to bed. All showered, ready for bed. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. First hot cup of coffee from the espresso machine. It is very good. I poured a little bit of pumpkin spice um, syrup in there, oat milk, and then the espresso. I just did a single shot. I'm so behind, but I'm packing my lunch this morning. And my breakfast too, or I actually don't eat. So this is some leftover white bean chili that I made yesterday evening. I'm gonna pack a Greek yogurt, a silk Greek yogurt for breakfast. I'm gonna throw some raspberries. For the yogurt in here. I wish I did this at night, because I am like running so behind. Then I'm gonna pack a little protein drink and a protein bar. I don't think that I will eat all of this, but I like to have options um, because I'm a bit of a picker at work. <clears throat> all right, it is 8.07. This is the update on my face. It's looking better this morning, but I'm still like super puffy in my cheek and like my, the area that I would contour. And <laughs> just, you know, hoping my patients don't notice today. Today has been such a busy day. I am looking much better though. I'm still swollen, but I feel like I'm looking like myself. I have to take another dose of ibuprofen before bed, but I have not vlogged much today because it has been so busy. So I worked today from, you know, my typical like 8.30 to 6.15. I got in a workout at the gym, but then this evening I went to um, a, a Galvederma, the company that makes uh, Restylane and Dysport. Um, I went to a dinner with them at Ocean Prime in Tampa. It's like the, the fancy place that people always take like if you're ever going to like a medication dinner like they're taking you to ocean prime in tampa um but i headed there right after work and then i was there i just got home it's like it's 10 o'clock i got home at like 9 30 showered and i'm getting ready for bed and then i work tuesday and wednesday this week i'll try to take you guys along for another day probably tomorrow just to get like some more clips because i feel like i literally got nothing today and then on thursday morning i actually leave for virginia which i'm super excited for some me and some of my college friends that are i went to nursing school with one of them she's in crna school she's so smart and then i started nursing school with another but then she switched to pre-med and she's now an er doctor she's like so cool so smart um they're coming with us and then the ER doctor's brother and the CRNA student, yeah, CRNA student's husband is coming and then my husband's coming too. So we're gonna have like a long weekend there. I'm really excited. I just have to get through these three days and then I'm off for like five days. 
I also just cracked open a orange cream poppy. It's really good. Um, I do not typically like orange things and I feel like this is particularly good. I don't think I would repurchase it again just because I like like other ones better. Like I like Doc Pop better. I also just got the cherry cola flavor yesterday. Really, really like if you're, I guess, into cherry cola. <laughs> it tastes really good. I just love poppy. Like they can never make me hate poppy. The only thing I wish they did different is not have like this natural flavors. Like what is natural flavors? I hate that. Anyway, just getting ready for bed. Probably gonna do a little bit of reading and then call it a night. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Let's get ready for work. I made myself a little cappuccino. This cute little mug. It's a pumpkin spice latte cappuccino though because I made a little pumpkin spice syrup that I will post about probably in like a reel or something or like, you know, not a reel, but whatever. It's called a YouTube short. So you could check that out there, but it's so yummy. We're just gonna get ready for work. guys my outfit today I am wearing this cutie yellow sweater top I have this in yellow and gray and I wish I got it in more colors because it's so cute and I think it looks great with scrub pants um, I just like love it but anyway it is almost 12 o'clock I have finished my morning patients it was a busy morning but like busy as in all my regular patients like no new patients which don't get me wrong I'm totally fine seeing new patients I'm not saying that it's just like it takes you know a little bit more time and effort and when you have patients on your schedule that you already know it's like easy like you know their history you know what's going on like it's just easier it's just it is what it is <laughs> but yeah so oh my face is a little bit sore today I did take some ibuprofen this morning um and yeah so I'm headed to the gym I have a little bit I have like my full two hours today so I think I'm gonna do a leg day um, and then we'll come back to work for the afternoon I'm gonna have a ton of urgent care visits this afternoon I just know it because um, I have a few openings so that's fine that's whatever too doesn't matter to me um, last night no, I told you guys that I was watching. I was gonna. I didn't remember if I told you guys that I went to the Galderma um, dinner last night, but I did tell you guys that that was really good. I have a, like some really good pamphlets, and it was very good learning about that. And then they're gonna also send out like one of their injectors to do a training with me as well. So, like, I don't know. Like, you just don't get. It's so hard to get into the aesthetic field, and then you like it's so nice to like I've done trainings like I'm training on models and now I get trainings from like the actual um people who like created the product and how they intended it to go so it's it's really cool and like I really like it and I really appreciate the training that I'm getting um I'm hoping like the last week of September is the well I'm not hoping I need it to be the last week of September that I am going part-time at primary care I'm thinking Wednesdays and Thursdays that's what my boss has agreed to so it would be Wednesdays and Thursdays in primary care and then um, I would do like Tuesdays, Fridays and like Saturdays if I have appointments in aesthetics and um, Sunday, Monday off. So I am like losing my four day work week. So that kind of sucks. But working in aesthetics is different because like it's not like you have to be there and just like stay there. And if you don't have a patient, if you don't have a patient, you can just leave. Um, you can come back like whatever I don't know which I, I do that at my current job anyway but I'm rambling so we are gonna do a leg day I finished Whitney Simmons um 
a live app so I've just been creating like my own workouts for the last couple of weeks which is fun I like to do that for a little while and then I'll usually like jump back on a train like when I get tired of thinking during my workouts uh, so it'll be good I'm sore from yesterday I did my own like back and biceps workout and I'm really sore from it which I love so, yeah good day so far so excited to make dinner tonight I am making a crispy crispy rice bowl I think it's called something like that I'm getting the recipe I saw it on Instagram immediately saved it because I was like I need to make this immediately it looks so good the recipe is from kale junkie crispy rice cucumber salad you guys it looks so good so right now um i'll link the recipe below but right now i am cooking rice and then i'm gonna put i'm adding i'm adapting the recipe i always do that but the recipe doesn't have any like protein in it so i'm adding some tofu i'm also taking out or i'm swapping the peanuts for cashews because i don't have peanuts and i don't want to buy peanuts when i don't use them or i use cashews and i'm not putting in spring onion or dill i don't like dill my husband doesn't like spring onions so i'm not putting in those uh, not that I don't like dill, but like I don't, dill in this just doesn't jive in my head, so I'm not putting in the dill. So anyway, let's get to cooking. Okay, you done here in my yapper yap? <laughs> She's done here in my yapper yap. I've been chatty, chatty, chatty. Babe, did you notice that? Stop. Don't say anything. <laughs> Let me notice it. <laughs> hmm. Did I notice that you're looking even more beautiful than you have before? Yes, I always notice that. Mm -hmm. Your cheek swelling has gone down. Mm -hmm. mm, I love your little party, your little fall get up. 